Initially, I was a skink. Secondly, I was a camel. Third, I was a bird. Now I'm kneeling in front of my best friend, Sidon. <laughs> Will you marry me so I can become uh, an elephant? It works in context of the episode. Hey everyone, welcome back to Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, I went on a hunt for the Helm of Our Meadow. And I got it. Now, we are going to get the last Helm of the Four. That being, well, these guys. Below the long bridge that reaches for the statue, leave your fears behind. Pass beneath two waterfalls to find your prize. Right. A long bridge. The great fish, the eternal guardian, the secret treasure waits just beneath the storm, the stony form of this statue. I thought it would be Mipha's statue, but it says long bridge, and there's no long bridge to her statue. Yeah, I can imagine just like all of the other places, it's not going to be local. Like, the legendary treasure is not going to be, like, right in the heart of uh, the village. Mm hmm Oh, so we would hope. And, like, <laughs> be very efficient for the episode. Mm hmm I mean, do you feel like there's ever going to be a time in which we think, All right, we're going to set up to do something this episode. Five minutes later. Okay, we did it. All right, guys, that's going to be an episode. <laughs> Although, to be fair, that's now become YouTube Shorts. Yeah. <laughs> or uh, or YouTube back in the day. I still can't believe I'm one of those people who remember YouTube's layout in 2005 when it first became a thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And how videos could not be over 11 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I always found it weird but admired it heavily when content creators like, okay, fine, I can't make a video 11 minutes, so you know what I'll do? I'll make them 10.59. Great camera and good game. <laughs> yeah, because I can remember way back when I, I recorded Sonic stage playthroughs on, with my phone. And I'm like, I have to end this now because it's getting too long. Yeah. I think I can remember doing that. <laughs> Did you have to do them like between stages or mid stages? I think between stages, like I do a couple stages and then like, okay, it's getting long. I'm going to end this now. <laughs> <laughs> my God. There's just some things about YouTube Classic in which, I don't know, I've just always admired those kind of things in life in which should not come back, but you're always nostalgic for. Yeah. One of the things on YouTube is like camcorder LPs. Yeah. In which capture cards were never a thing. And it's something that back in the day, they were called innovators. But as soon as direct capture became a thing, it's like, oh my God, so low quality and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But to be fair, though, there's always value in no matter what content you make. I mean, for example, those camcorder LPs, they were ripe to take the piss out of. Thank you, Red Supre, uh, 2005 onwards. <laughs> <sighs> I miss those two. It's a shame they don't do content anymore. They don't do content anymore? Unfortunately, no. Um, they still do things together on Twitch, but as far as the brand is known as Retsupre, yeah, they've stopped doing it because they feel like the content nowadays, it isn't really suited for modern culture. Mm. And in some way, shape, or form, like, I watched a lot of their classic stuff back in the day, and yeah, I could definitely tell some of their content would not be suitable mm. because some of it would be classed as bullying and whatnot. Ah. Yeah, because how I came across them is I just look for like random funny videos and one of the people I watched back at the time, they referenced the guys and it was like, oh, okay, cool. I'll tune in and yeah, it was just like a bunch of guys taking the piss of like crappy LPs or crappy one-shot videos. Hmm. It's either that or to take the piss out of um, notorious uh, reviewers or just stupid content. And then later on, they began doing their own unique LPs and just taking the piss out of the games instead. Mm -hmm. Which, in all honesty, I feel like is some of their more stronger content. If you guys haven't watched um, any of RetroPrey's classic stuff, um, I can't remember the game it's called, but it's like a 
rather rubbish uh, 90s uh, detective game set in the UK, but I can't really remember the name. The second one is Shadow of Destiny. That one is so hilarious to watch. And the third one is, of course, being Sonic 06. <laughs> in which uh, I'm going to take slight credit for. I actually, uh, I added a bit to that LP. In what way? Um, when the guy Slow Beef was doing the playthrough of Shadow Story. Mm -hmm. And right as soon as they got to a point in Shadows, so which one of the most mind-blowing stupid decisions was taking place. In short, if you guys don't know, there's a part in Shadow Story in which a voice actor messes up a line, redoes it, but they kept the entire take through the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, actually let him know about that part. And as soon as he got to that point, he said, okay, hang on. I got told this part's coming up. <laughs> I was like, I, I did that. <laughs> Senpai noticed me moment. <laughs> I don't know, man. Now saying that, I kind of am nostalgic to go back and watch uh, like a few videos or a few Let's Plays of content creators I used to watch. Oh yeah, of course, Slippy. Again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to reference Star Fox, I swear. How do we miss an opal? <laughs> Of all the things to miss, how how do we miss an opal? <laughs> Were we just that bored? It's like, oh, an opal. How pedestrian. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear, if only we had a costume that did what it said on the tin. Without requiring double upgrades. Yeah. That's pretty much like false advertising or a red herring. Or well, the reference I made to like say, oh yeah, sure, it gets good. It's just got to get like 60 hours in. It's like, no, not worth it. Bomb? Oh my god, that... <laughs> those guys went flying! <laughs> and the best part is, they don't even know who did it. Yeah. <laughs> my god, it's raining bombs! End <laughs> times are upon us! <laughs> yes. I know nothing about that. Yeah, so I think Akla is a bit too far north. And the clue is too far south. It's got to have a long bridge, too. Yeah, it The is. only long bridge is this one, but... That could be the case. But it's too close to home, I'd like to imagine. Mm-hmm. I mean, that could be something. That is a great-ish bridge. Mm-hmm. That does seem to be right for also where a shrine would be because there isn't much really going on there. Yeah, I was like, I've noticed this a couple times, wondered if there's anything up there. There most likely is because with 150 shrines to play with, there's got to be something we've missed over there. Or no light route to speak of. Okay. There's a shrine there apparently. Hmm. Right in the of the tower. <laughs> yeah. What a weird placement. So you're seriously telling me in that amount of space, there's not one freaking shrine at all? Oh, there's a cave. So that's something, I suppose. Yeah. They come out of nowhere. <laughs> Bluto's channel. Like, comment, and subscribe? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I mean, technically there's two waterfalls here. But I don't think this is any indication of what they could be. I was kind of hoping... We would never do that. What? Organize them. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> I wanted how we got them, damn it! Yeah. I want Kron in the logical order. You've taken that away from me. You know, about good jump. I still don't like you, though. Yeah. Yay, I got... Oh, yeah, because Yonobo roasted the fish, probably. <laughs> There's going to be a few things in here, surely. Well, we can't go up, I don't think. Well, apart from that way, obviously. Oh, look at you! <laughs> There doesn't seem to be anything, but good idea. <laughs> really? But there's nothing in here? That's a pretty disappointing. Okay, fine. Apart from the red drop. Thanks, so on A bit too late on that champ. No, oh, nothing here. Weird. Could have had a chest back there or something. Mm hmm. Yeah, I don't think, unless you can crawl and use recall on them, I don't know. I think may not fit. He may sit, but, but he may- Ah, oh, That was cheap! What attacked me? Another board! <laughs> Another board! <laughs> just- well, They just got smacked on the head by a piece of wood. I get the feeling something is about to croak. Hello there, stupid frog. Die. The Great Fish, it's not referring to the fish statue that we had to do for Sidon's quest. Sorry, quest, do you think? Mm. Because it is a fish. Was that the thing that was around here? That was the Sky Islands. See, so let's see what well, looks like a fish. Mm hmm. Yeah, so that's definitely is a fish. And so, whatever's beneath that, I would like to assume. Past two waterfalls. So is there something behind that waterfall you're at right now? Because I am seeing another bit of water just behind it. <laughs> really? That's not what I was expecting. <laughs> the treasure of the Zora all along. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you don't. Uh, the first time we get a mighty carp. <laughs> that is a mighty fish. <laughs> I mean, it does look ruin-y and sometimes statues are found in ruins. I think that might be where Rudo was perched. Yeah, probably. If it's a, it's like a massive special location but filled with bugger all, then it's going to be something related to with the Divine Beasts. But it can't be, because the Divine Beasts never existed, <laughs> according to the game. And I feel like for me, I'm going to just go out on a limb here and say it. If this game is trying to explain like, ooh, things are different now because Zelda actually went back in time, so Zelda in this timeline never existed as we know it, I would pretty much like it if the game pretty much either threw a hint our way or just said outright. It's like if we bought up the Divine Beasts ourselves, like, oh, Divine Beasts? What are they? Never heard of them. 
then maybe I would understand. Ooh, a tiny hole. I must see. What is in a tiny hole? Uh. Uh. Is it possible to open those grates like we could in Hyrule Castle? New. No. Is there something? Hang on, wait. Is there something in the middle? Take off, hold your hand. Or is that just the box and the pat in the water? I think it might be box and the pat in the water. There's got to be something here. You can't just give a secret alcove and then give nothing. Not even a chest. No. I'd even take a core off, but okay, here's the thing. They're giving that plank of wood for a reason. But what reason could there be? Like, maybe... maybe Ascend. It's the only thing I could think of. Yeah! And for our troubles, we get... A <laughs> Zonite Spear. Really? Yep. Game. <laughs> Game. Hello, Lizalfos. I hate you. Game, so let me just get this right, okay? Did it hit them? I can't tell. I think he got blasted back at the very least. Cool. But game, let me just put this into context. This was a very special area in Breath of the Wild. A one and done place in which once you did Ruta, you couldn't go back. Like, Ruta blocked you off for some reason. Like, oh my god, it's charging. Really? I can't even go say hi. And yet, you take this area and you turn it in, into a place for a bog standard weapon. Yeah, that would have been the perfect place for the Ruta Helm, actually, because that's. I think it is where Ruta stood. It, it is, yes. I can definitely remember us coming up here because she overlooked Zor's domain, so yeah, this is the place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would have been the perfect place to find the Helm. I mean, maybe, but I can also understand that being a bit too easy. True. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know, man. Although Zor's domain has usually been, like, the easiest dungeon... Uh, I don't know. Uh, was it? I, I mean, to be honest, we really can't say because Ruta was our first dungeon, so we were entirely new to the concept. Mm -hmm. I think it's fair to say uh, Naboris was definitely the one that took us the longest. Yeah. <laughs> I think, in all honesty, I think Meadow was the easiest. And then I think it was Rudania, and then Ruta. Rudania was fairly easy, it's just getting to it that was a pain. Yeah, sure. With the escort quest with Yonobo. Yeah. And not to mention getting to Death Mountain in the first place required a lot... Took a lot more steps to get to than, say, this place. Yeah. Yeah, so I feel like, yeah, I don't know, Death Mountain's really good. <laughs> I really have no good experiences with Death Mountain. <laughs> well, I won't say Death Mountain, but just it's more like the Gorons. And technically, the water works have not been ticked yet. No, nope. that means there's still a wet frog in here. <laughs> and no, I don't mean uh, the sticky kind. Well, to be fair, we never found the frog in the bright cat cave. No, true. I mean, at some point, just like in one of the light cave ones we just did not too long ago, he's going to be open his ceiling at some point yeah. in one of these caves. 
I'm just trying to think on where in here he could be. Also, I did take a photo of him, so I do have him on the Hyrule uh, Compendium if you need him. There he is. Track him. He's <laughs> in here. <laughs> <laughs> We have them all microchip now. <laughs> <laughs> we are the worst version of the RSPCA. We don't track them to protect them. We track them down to kill them. <laughs> Link is a huntsman now. Where are you, Froggy? It's okay. We, we, we don't want to hurt you. We just want to shoot you in one shot and kill you. I promise it'll be quick and painless. Nearby, above. Okay, that worked. <laughs> oh. I don't think this is how the game wanted you to get to this guy, but okay. <laughs> yeah, wow, you had to fight a few enemies, apparently. Nope, never mind. I thought that thing was a silver enemy. I mean, there's a light like in here. Great. Goodbye. You prick! <laughs> Goodbye, prick. <laughs> Man, you hit the ground hard and took no damage. Probably because of the ragdoll. Yeah, Link just broke his shoulder, his spine, and everything else, but he came out <laughs> fine. <laughs> he is a living good boy. <laughs> I had to look this one up in some way. I don't know the specifics, but fly back to Zora's domain or get the map up for a sec. Mm hmm. Right. See the waterfall. Zoom in a little bit. Okay, go down. Yep. I don't know much. All I know it's by there. The Great Zora Bridge. This dude lives under a rock. Yeah. But he's gonna give us a Zora spear, which is good for the trident. Indeed it is, but now what do we skip? That's the big question. We have so many good weapons. I think we wait until we can get another slot from Hestu. Mm -hmm. Also, Maiden Muck, guess what? Wait, what? Huh? Maiden Muck side quest didn't, didn't go through, or was that because of the spear? Nah, really? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Make room, idiot! I was kind of worried it would be on that long-ass bridge. You know, here's the thing. In Zora's Domain, we've had the context of, like, the bridges. They class as the waterfalls because they are a bridge to the sky. It's a motif that's been used before and, no and nowhere else. <laughs> You're not going to trade me anything? Okay. That's what I was hoping for, but I guess not. No. Nope. I guess he's sick of luminous stones. Guess better drop down. 
There is a cave somewhere, apparently. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> cave on the- wow! <laughs> Whoever came up with that name deserves a freaking promotion! And we know what's coming, don't we? <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh no, never mind! I thought that was a gloom hand summoning. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like, um... This helm's gonna be a little bit difficult, but apparently not. No. Found the frog. It found its depth. I want it float in the water. Its gem is... I thought it got submerged, I was about to be really pissed. Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, the chasm. Chasm under Zora's domain. These are really creative names. Oh, so that's how we get to the Lene room mine instead of randomly walking in. Yeah. Right. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. And here I was, giving up hope. Yay! <laughs> we did it! Remember, guys, an elephant never forgets, but I forget what the elephant remembered. <laughs> That's a quote for the ages. Well, at least with that... We got all of the Divine Helms. Now, here's the thing, man. I'm going to be honest. This one was kind of... It's a weird one. Yeah. And definitely one that I feel like doesn't have as much gravitas as... As the others did. No. I mean, like, with Naboris, we found it in a secret hole in the outskirts. That's kind of next to the, the Legend of the Eighth. Mm -hmm. With Meadow, we found it in a hidden cave that we're connected to with the hot springs, you know, and the caves and whatnot. Rudonia? I forget where we found Rudonia. It was in the Lizard Lakes. Ah, yes. Yeah, so obvious landmarks. Here, it's just found in a random cave beneath Zora's domain. In the, and I stand by it, the crappily named cave under Zora's domain is yeah. the cave of, that's under Zora's domain. Yeah. Give a raise for whoever came up with that name. My god. But yep, that is all four helms got, and we have everything in place. And the chasm. Yeah. But now we're shaking. And the Cylon has a new hat too. Well guys, I figured that said, I think we are going to end this off here. So next time on Tears of the Kingdom. Oh boy. Uh, I have to think about what I'm going to do in this episode because I was not expecting us to get through all of the helms this quickly. <laughs> but I guess we'll find out. We'll see you next time. Ta ta. It's either that or I might go on a froggy hunt. <laughs> Either way guys. See you next time.